God, Allah is so, so proud of you. So I can relay a message to you that God is so very proud of you. Like you are making God so proud right now that it's like it's like tears of joy, happy tears. Like God is so happy with how your life is, with how much you have grown, with how much you have overcome, and how much you have really chosen yourself and just Okay, it's like I'm feeling this energy and it's very it's almost like you're feeling this energy of feeling speechless almost because it's just so miraculous how your life has just been just gradually coming together just right before your very eyes your dreams are coming true the life that you always wanted and envisioned for yourself is happening for you and God is so proud of you because God put you through a test God put you through this very you know rough and difficult test where you had to choose between yourself or damn I'm gonna say it as I feel it you had to choose yourself or love and this love is like a romantic love in a way and it's like you had chosen this romantic love and it was okay at first and but this love was not meant to last because this love came with a curse and it was a karmic cycle that you had to break it was a it was a curse that you had to break and a karmic cycle that you had to complete to never enter again you have broken the curse you have broken the curse for your bloodline because other people in your bloodline have been through this curse of having abusive romantic partners so you healed the, you broke the curse for like the generations backward and the you've broken the curse for the generations forward because whenever you break a curse you heal 14 generations seven generations backward and seven generations forward you broke that curse of abusive partners because you chose yourself the reason why that curse continued and perpetuated is because people chose love over themselves they chose the obligation of marriage over themselves they chose you know just the marriage and the family and the children over themselves but you broke the curse because you had to choose yourself and God ultimately allowed you to go through that situation because God knew that you were going to choose yourself because God has molded you God has loved you God has placed you into I'm talking to a person where God has placed you like I'm talking to some people because anyway I'm talking to somebody who God has placed you in a loving family okay you are placed in a loving family where you have you know parents that love you unconditionally or maybe just one parent that's in your life that loves you unconditionally and has taught you has nurtured you has guided you has protected you has really shared wisdom with you has really raised you raised you right raised you well they've taught you right from wrong they've taught you to have good morals they taught you how to stand on your own two feet and because you were loved properly you were able to recognize when you were not being loved properly and when you recognize you were not being loved properly that's when your awakening happened you had no idea you were going through a spiritual awakening but you were and the awakening happened as you were being broken down and as you were being broken down you were going through a breakthrough you had to be broken down to experience your breakthrough and when you experience your breakthrough you break out of that mold that shell of yourself and you go through an ego death and become this brand new person this more evolved version of yourself this different version of you because the version that you used to be settled for less chose the top was choosing the toxicity was choosing the abuse but as you was broken down in that situation in that relationship and you broke through you chose yourself and ever since you chose yourself everything has been getting progressively better for you because you recognize that you are worth more than this abuse you knew that even though you had to let go of 
people that you loved, you realized that you choosing yourself, you were going to have peace. It was going to hurt, but it was going to save your soul. You learn the lesson that sometimes God has to hurt your heart to save your soul. Because staying in that sit if you would have stayed in that situation and with that abusive partner and just lived that that generational curse and had been stuck in that karmic cycle, it would have done so much damage to your soul. It would have drained the light out of your soul. It would have been preventing you from living your life's purpose because it would have just broken you down. That's why there had to be an ending. That's why things had to go awry so that you can, you had to be broken down so that you can break through and become the brand new person that was not going to settle. Because once you got out of that situation, yes, it was heartbreaking. Yes, it hurt your heart. Yes, having to walk away from the people and things that you loved was heartbreaking. Yes, going through all that was heartbreaking. Yes, it hurt your heart. But your soul was saved. God had to save your soul. And by you removing yourself, your soul has gotten brighter because you eliminated that darkness. Your soul has gotten so much energetically lighter and brighter. Your vibration has raised. You are glowing from the inside out. There is just this divine glow within you. You have shifted from the wounded feminine to the divine feminine fully. Because when you were in that cycle, you were partially your divine feminine and partially your wounded feminine. You were teeter-tottering with both. That's why that relationship was attracted to your life. But once you healed and you broke free from that, you were no longer the wounded feminine and you are now when you are now the divine feminine. So you now have this love coming towards you, whether it's already here or whether it's coming towards you where this will be a representation of divine love, where you have two, you have a divine feminine and a divine masculine, not a wounded feminine or not a wounded masculine. You both are in your divine energy. You both are in your energy of being a woman and man of God. You are equally yoked. And this was the type of love that God had always had in store for you. You just had to go through cycles of, of pain and hurt to evolve your soul so that your soul can be ready and have the energy capacity to have this type of love into your life. You've passed the test that God placed in your life of will you choose yourself? And you did. And the reason why God is so proud of you is because throughout the time of you ending that <clears throat> that relationship, leaving that relationship and focusing on yourself and healing yourself, you have done so much healing on yourself. You have learned how to receive. You learned how to love yourself more. You have a stronger capacity to love. You've matured. You've grown. And you didn't allow your past to prevent you from having something in your present or allowing something to come into your allowing something to come in from in the future. Excuse me. Sorry. But God is so very proud of you because you did not allow it to keep you down. You kept getting back up. And not only did you keep getting back up, you kept living. You kept growing. It was it was only getting better and just you just got better and better over the over time. And this was such a massive turnaround for you within like within a span of just maybe two to three years, just a few years. You have completely turned your life around that would have taken someone maybe a decade or so to get through all of that. You grew within a decade within like just a few short years. And that's why God is so proud of how rapid your growth really was. And you got to give yourself more credit for that because you have grown tremendously over these past few years after everything you have been through. Like you went from being the person that cried tears of sadness to crying tears of joy. Like the tears that you will be shedding in this next season going forward will be tears of joy because you cried enough tears of sadness. All of those tears were not in vain. God loves you so much. Allah loves you so much. 
and they love how much you have grown. God Allah has, loves how much you have grown, how much you have put your trust and faith in him, how much you have